Evaluate the triple integral over the solid region B of 2x squared plus natural log y plus 4z dv, where the solid region B is defined such that x is on the closed interval from zero to two, y is on the closed interval from one to three, and z is on the closed interval from zero to four. Because the integrand function contains natural log y, to integrate with respect to y, we'll have to use integration by parts, and therefore let's integrate with respect to y last. Let's let dv equal dz dx dy. To set this up, we have the triple integral of two x squared plus natural log y plus four z. And again, we're gonna let dv equal dz dx dy. The limits of integration for z are from zero to four. The limits of integration for x are from zero to two. The limits of integration for y are from one to three. We begin by integrating with respect to z, treating both x and y as constants. The integral of two x squared with respect to z is two x squared times z, or two x squared z, plus the integral of natural log y with respect to z, which is natural log y times z, or z natural log y, and then plus the integral of four z with respect to z is four times z squared divided by two, which simplifies to plus two z squared. And now we determine big F of four minus big F of zero by performing substitution for z. When z is equal to four, we have two x squared times four or eight x squared, and then plus four natural log y, plus two times the square of four, which is two times 16 or 32. And notice when z is equal to zero, all the terms are zero. So we would have a minus zero here, but that won't change the integrand function. So we'll go ahead and just write dx dy and now we integrate with respect to x, treating y as a constant. The integral of eight x squared with respect to x is eight times x cubed divided by three, or eight thirds x cubed, and then plus the integral of four natural log y with respect to x is four natural log y times x, or four x natural log y, and then plus the integral of 32 with respect to x is 32 x. And now we determine big F of two minus big F of zero by performing substitution for x. When x is equal to two, we have eight thirds times a cube of two, which is eight thirds times eight, which is 64 thirds, plus four times two times natural log y is plus eight natural log y, and then plus 32 times two, which is 64, minus when x is zero, all the terms are zero, Let's go ahead and simplify. We have the integral from one to three of eight natural log y plus 64 thirds plus 64 equals 256 thirds. And now we need to integrate with respect to y, but to integrate eight natural log y with respect to y, we need to perform integration by parts. Let's do this on the side. Let's find the antiderivative of eight natural log y with respect to y, again using integration by parts, and I included the integration by parts formula here at the bottom of the screen. Let's let u equal natural log y, which indicates dv is equal to eight dy. We differentiate to find du, du is equal to the derivative of natural log y with respect to y times dy, which is one divided by y dy. And now we integrate to find v. The integral of eight with respect to y is eight y. Applying the integration by parts formula, we have u times v, which is eight y natural log y, minus the integral of v times du, which is eight y times one over y dy. Simplifying, we have 
8y natural log y, and then minus the integral of just 8 dy. So the antiderivative is 8y natural log y minus 8y plus c. Going back up to our original integral, we now know the integral of 8 natural log y with respect to y is 8y natural log y minus 8y. And then we still have to integrate 256 thirds with respect to y, which gives us plus 256 thirds y. Before determining big F of three minus big F of one, let's combine like terms. Negative eight y plus 256 thirds y simplifies to 232 thirds y. And now we determine big F of three minus big F of one by performing substitution for y. When y is three, we have 24 natural log three plus 232 divided by three times three simplifies to 232 minus, when y is one, we have eight natural log one plus 232 thirds. And this is a three here. Simplifying natural log one is equal to zero. So we have 24 times natural log three, and then 232 minus 232 thirds, which simplifies to plus 464 thirds. This is the exact value of the given triple integral. I hope you found this helpful.